I'd like a room, please. Oh, a single or a double? A single. Quite impossible, I'm sorry. No. Hello, forces. Round the world in 80 days. Dramatization of the novel by Jules Byrne will receive it. Round the world in 80 days? Oh, but I'll think up some queer ones these days. So I never listen these days except for the news. Have you finished your tea, Countess? Yes, thank you, Mrs. Oakes. Of course. I'm not saying it'd be easy to think up new things all the time. What about a double? You said you wanted a single. Yes, but if you haven't got a single, I'd like a double. We're full right up, I'm sorry. Uh, then why did you give me the choice of asking for a single or a double? Well, you might have been a married couple. I might have been a sultan and full hari, but I don't see that makes any difference. You haven't got a room, you haven't got a room, have you? No, I haven't got a room. God, what a... Why it is? Uh, I beg your pardon? You're Peter Kyle. Uh, yes, I am. I'm afraid... Oh, you wouldn't know me. I saw Light of Love at the, at the palace only yesterday. Isn't that funny? Uh, yes, it is. It's over two years old now, Light of Love. Oh, we only get the old ones in Milchester. Well, 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 what a thrill. It wasn't a good picture either, I'm afraid. Oh, it's quite good, really. I mean... One or two bits were a bit silly, I thought, but you were ever so good, though. Yeah, thank you very much. Oh, not at all. I always think you're good. I'm so glad. Uh, how do you do? Oh, how do you do? My name's Doris. I won't tell you my other name, because you'd never be able to pronounce it. Oh. <laughs> oh, yes, well, yeah, it's a long name, so you would have trouble with that one. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose you came over here to arrange about your next picture, didn't you? Oh, yes, I read all about it in the Express. Yes. Oh, and you're giving all your salary to the Red Cross. Oh, I do think that's fine. Of course, you're English, aren't you? By birth, yes, but I've been an American citizen for the last seven years. Well, well, well. Peter Kyle, would you believe it? Just drifting into the old falcon like that and asking for a room. And not getting it. Oh, the idea. Of course you must have one. Don't you worry about that. Mrs Oakes! Yes? I Mrs. thought Oakes. I told you. Don't you know who this gentleman is? No. Oh, look at him carefully and then tell me if you don't recognise him. No, oh, can't say no. Oh, look again. Look at him side view. Then you'll see. Turn round. Oh, I think if you don't mind. Oh. Well, I mean, look at that smile. You must recognise that. Who does it remind you of? Mabel Smarts, brother? I think I'd better tell you my name straight away. Otherwise, this might go on all night. I'm Peter Kyle. Peter Kyle? Oh, do tell me all about Hollywood. Have you met Carmen Miranda or Bill Crosby? What are they? Sterling, I expect. They're four-engine aircraft anyway. Probably from Shepley. Been a day raid, most likely. The boys all know. Anyway, do tell me, have you met Carmen Miranda or Bing Crosby? Well, I've never met Carmen Miranda, but I know Bing Crosby fairly well. Fancy. What's he like? He's very nice. As a matter of fact, our houses are quite near each other. There's something wrong with that one. Yes, God, what an enormous thing. It looks all right to me. She's flying on three engines. Been shot up, I expect. Oh, Lord! What's the matter? She's landing. Look, they put her undercarriage down. Oh, she's going to land on her aerodrome. Oh, my God, so it is. It's coming in. Hello, Doris, my beautiful. How's every little thing? Evening, Sergeant. Where's the wife? Uh, not turned up, sir. <laughs> Gone off course a bit, looks like. Yeah, you told me her navigation was pretty ropey. It's lousy, sir. If she doesn't turn up soon, I shall post her as missing. Believe you've got on wrong bus. Oh, I should. Johnny, you clot. What about that beer you're going to give yeah, me? I not forget. Good Lord, I say. Is that Peter Cut? It is, Teddy. Isn't it wonderful? Oh, Puck a Jen? Puck a Jen, sir. Oh, good Lord, I say. Good Lord, I say. He's most awfully... Nice to meet you, sir, and all that. Must you call me sir? No, no, I suppose not. Peter Kyle. Well, well, swear. This calls for a party, boys and girls, don't you think? Percy! Uh, please, is that fish? It's all right, Johnny. Hey, famous bloke here and all that. These are on me. Oh, yes, thank you. Yes? Oh, Flight Lieutenant Graham, sir. 
Where have you been? We've been ringing for half an hour. Oh, I'm sorry. So I didn't know it was you, Flight mm. Lieutenant Graham, sir. Another round for these people, whatever they're having, and pints for the count and I. Yes, sir. Berlin tonight, Flight Lieutenant Graham, sir. What? No, home sweet home, Percy. Mm. Bursting into flames or spotting a little caterpillar or something. Hello. Hello. Well, darling, are you shaken or are you shaken? Now be honest. Uh, I'll be honest, I'm shaking. Hello, Hello Maudie. Hello, Dave. <laughs> got on the wrong bus, did you, Maudie? You said the Skillingworth bus, Dave. That's right, 425 from Lincoln. Well, I got to Skillingworth and you weren't there. Lord, Maudie, I didn't tell you to go to Skillingworth. You should have got off at Milchester. You said the Skillingworth bus, Dave. Yeah, but the Skillingworth bus goes through Milchester. You should have got off at Milchester. You never said nothing about Milchester. You don't look very well, Dave. You've been getting those back aches. Uh, all right, Maudie, you're signing here. Because if you ever got some of that medicine you left behind last week, all right, the Maudie. doctor gave you. Just sign your name. Darling, don't be angry, please. Angry? Oh, look, what an idiot you are. I don't see that I've done anything so wrong in coming down to face the music. Face the music? Oh, how beautifully Hollywood. What was your idea to get Teddy alone and say, I love your wife? If you must know, yes. Uh, what's the trouble, Gloria? Just come through from group. No. What time take off? 2200 hours. Briefing 1945. Who's going? Um, only four aircraft. Four, uh, a Apples, L London, you uncle, uh, and a kite from the Polish squadron. Air Sugar. Johnny's? What's the job? Special. Very hush hush. <laughs> Not exactly a piece of cake, I believe. Now, what in hell was the idea of pooping off the station like that? They told you this morning that something might still come through. I went into ops at 5.30, and if group can't make their mind up by 5.30, well, Christ, I they want I wouldn't wanna... have put it past you, P.O. Prune, to have gone roaring off down to Brighton or somewhere for the weekend. Then we'd have had a pretty little court martial on uh, Goodbye, darling. God willing, I'll be waking you up at some hellish time, like four in the morning. Oh, uh, by the way, whatever it is you wanted to tell me, it'll have to wait. I suppose that's all right with you? Yes, that's all right with me. If I'd been in England longer than me a few days, I might become as blasé about raids as you are. Listen, those hours... There's. Oh, are they? How do you know? I lived in London till we were bombed out. Well, I live in London too, but I can never tell the difference. Well, perhaps you don't listen for it like what I do. Bombs? Guns. You've got a lot to learn. Superior beast. <laughs> it's all right. I'd just forgotten him for the moment. Yeah, after tomorrow. <clears throat> oh, uh, this is Graham, eh? Uh, yeah, I thought I'd find you up. Squadron leader. Uh, this is Peter Kyle, squadron leader Swanson. Oh, yes. You're the actor type, aren't you? I've heard all about you from Teddy. You've been burbling on about meeting you all the evening. Shooting a terrific line. <laughs> I say... I suppose you wouldn't like to come up to the uh, air, airfield tomorrow and uh, say a few words or something? Give the chaps a hell of a thrill. <laughs> something to write to their girlfriends about instead of official secrets. <laughs> I'd love to, uh, but as a matter of fact, I'm leaving for London tomorrow. Oh, pity. Turn off the light! There's the flare path. Do you see? There's one taking off now. They're making their run from the far side of the field, coming across this way. There's one off safely, thank God. It's a hellish tricky business taking off on a night like this, with no wind and a full load of bombs. Hellish tricky. Worse than landing. Here's the next one, starting his run. Which one is Teddy's? I can't tell. Uh, they don't take off in any particular order. There are only four aircraft flying tonight. The A Apples, the L London, you, Uncle, that's Teddy's, and S. Sugar from the Polish squadron. Oh, God! What's the matter? It, it, it's all right. He's off. I thought he wasn't going to make it. He must have cleared that fence by inches. Now, next one's coming up. Hello. What's that? Oh, the first one seems to be circling around up there. Can you hear him? No. Do you think it might be a German? I hope to God it's not. There is one circling around up there. 
Oh, there, there he goes. The next one. Uh, do you see? You can just pick him out. Ah, that dark shape. And his engines are on fire! No, no, that's the exhaust. It always looks like that. You can see it from miles around. Useful to night fighters. Good boy! Nice table. Well done. One more to go. Ah, here he comes. Here's the last one. Just, just starting his run. Oh, this fire's nice and warm on my behind. Oh, hi, Croon. Trust you to be first down. What did you do? Drop all your bombs on Bogner and dash for home? Uh, that's about it. And it, it wasn't Bogner, it was Littlehampton, wasn't it, Sarge? That's right, sir. All bombs fell on target area. Uh, hello, darling. Hello, Teddy. Oh, uh, you should have got up. Oh, good morning, gentlemen. Oh, Mrs. Oakes, what have you got there for us? Eggs and bacon! I'd be glad if you wouldn't shunt it to the whole hotel. Oh, I'm infringing regulations. Mrs. Oakes, what? I can kiss you from head to foot! I trust you're doing nothing of the sort. Oh, Estus, did you remember what they are? Or have you forgotten? Eggs, you must mean those little round things that came out of ends in peacetime. That's it. Come and sit down, Pat. I can eat a house. I can eat you, Mrs. Oakes. Shh! Quiet! I thought I heard a whimpy. Do you want me to get kicked out of the Air Force? What do you mean? Put that receiver down. Come here. They always say a man shouldn't have any secrets from his wife, don't they? Yes, tell me. You know what's the matter with me? Funk. Just plain old ordinary common or garden bloody funk. Oh, don't be so absurd. If a doctor examined me now, he'd say, here's a chap who doesn't like flying. But what about this? I mess you, Smith. Put a cannon shell in our tailplane. We went down into a dive and I couldn't pull up. Dusty came through on the intercom. He said, oh, I thought I bought it, Skipper, but I'm all right. I'm all right. We're in a vertical dive and I couldn't pull up. And Dusty's saying he's all right. I've seen them go out night after night and they always got back. <laughs> Never thought they wouldn't somehow. Of course, I hear it on the wireless. Some of our aircraft failed to return. <laughs> but I never thought it would happen to us. Oh, oh, God, it really makes you think, doesn't it? They're continuing the search. They had a rubber dinghy on board, and it is just possible that they've been picked up by some passing vessel that didn't have a radio or any way of letting us know. It's better not to think of loopholes. I'm quite ready to face it. An awful coward. It's probably my bad luck, but I found myself in the middle of that, and now I don't feel as though I can. Dessert? Yes, dessert. Very heroic. I'm sorry if it sounded that way. Heaven knows it's far from the truth. I would have so much wished to have repaid you for your sacrifice by taking you with me after the war to Poland where I might, in some very small measure, have been able to make a return to you of the material debt I owe you. The other debt I can never repay. Goodbye, my dear, dear wife. I love you forever. It's in the letter. You can get anyone to translate it for you. Thanks, dear. Just so long as I know. Well, bungo. Talk it up, Percy. Yes, sir. Okay, Kyle, shoot. <sighs> Give me the five second burst. Well, what do you want to say to me? You need to. What? Well, go on. You need, you need to treat me more like a wife. And less like a showpiece. A showpiece? Suggested that Flight Lieutenant Graham shall in future be permitted to mention his wife's name. Um, not more than oh. ten times per God, how did you hear about that? Well, that doesn't matter. I'll kill Gloria. No, you won't. He thought I'd be pleased. Well, I suppose I was in a way, but you see what I mean, don't God, you? tear me off a strip, darling. I deserve it. No, you don't. It's much more my fault than yours. Utter bilge. It's all my fault. Uh, it doesn't matter whose fault it is. 
What's important is that we make more of an effort going forward. Morning, Mrs Miller. How are you this morning? Very well, thank you. Dave and I went on a walk. He showed me your Wellington. What? How do you get past the guards? <laughs> no, we only saw it from the road, sir. It's still at dispersal. <sighs> Did you know it's got a great big hole in the tail? Of course he knew, Maud. He's only the jolly old skipper. Yeah, but you said he sits up front. He might not know what's going on behind. As a matter of fact, I did know about this hole, Mrs Miller. Uh, it looks awfully dangerous. A great big hole like that. Uh, quite right you were to tell me. Uh, I think you're going to have to get it seen to, Dusty. Well, I'm quite pleased to hear it. You must forgive my wife, sir. She doesn't know much about aircraft. Yeah, neither does mine. Oh, I do know. I know which ones are ours and I know which ones are theirs. I wish Dusty were as hot on aircraft recognition as you are, Mrs Miller. Uh, Ah, come on, boys and girls. All together now. <laughs> Never mind, Mrs Oakes. She's heard it all before. There we go, Gloria. <laughs> we don't want to join the Air Force. We don't want to go to war. We'd rather hang around Piccadilly Underground. Living off the Addis on the high-class lady. All up the blighters in the Royal Marines. 